Good afternoon, everyone. Now, welcome to Music Scrap, the musical scrapper. And if you are watching the recording, this is coming from ustream.tv slash channel slash music scrap. So I am recording live. So if you hear me talking, it's there. there is a live chat that goes along. So if you've never come to Ustream before, come on over. I stream at uh, 4 o'clock-ish <laughs> Eastern Time on Ustream.tv. So, and there's Imelda. Oh, nice, Pam. Oh, straight across from Fort McMurray? Oh, cool. Cool, cool. Never been that far north. I've only been in... The only place I've been in... in uh, uh, I've been in Edmonton. Spent a couple days there. <laughs> uh, strolling through West Edmonton Mall. That takes two days to stroll through that. And then took the train to Vancouver from Edmonton. So that was fun. Oh, Peace River. I've heard of Peace River. Orla? Yes, I've heard of Peace River. I've heard of it. Never been there. Heard of it. Okay, so I'm going to start with clean up print. If I can find my yellow, white paint, I should say. Oh, wait a minute. Where is my bag of paints from the other day? What did I do with them? There they are. I put my paint colors that I'm going to use in my t-shirt separate in a bag. And, uh, so I just want to make sure that I'm going to need my green, yellow, and stuff. Okay, so I need my white paint. It's right here. I think I'll use a 12 by 12 for the cleanup. Actually, I'm going to do cleanup with deli paper this time. Oh, did you, Marilyn? The recording shouldn't come up because I don't have, I don't have it. Oh, is it too low? Oh, hold on, hold on. I had it down because last week it was too high. Just a moment. Okay, let me put it up a little. Is that any better? I switched my, I switched microphones. Is that any better? Okay, let me. Is that any better? Hello, hello, hello. Let me know. Hello, hello. Okay, good. All right. So I've got my little brayer in case I need that. And I got my bigger brayer because I will need that. <clears throat> All right, and you're doing the cleanup. You don't need much paint, as little paint as you can use, and still be wet enough to get the layers underneath. It doesn't actually reactivate the paint that's already on your plate, because it's acrylic paint. Once it's dry, it's dry. But what it does is, as this paint, white paint dries, it will dry to the layers underneath and pull those layers up with it. And so when you're doing a cleanup, you want to leave your paper on a little longer than usual because you actually want that layer of paint to put down, in this case, white layer. You want, you can do it with any color. I just usually do it with white or black or cream so that whatever's underneath is what shows up. Pam. Oh dear. I missed what she was talking about initially.
I can feel the wet paint on the deli paper. <laughs> This is going to pick up as well as regular paper does, and it's not. I may have to, yeah, that just made everything worse. That's really strange, but that did not pick up at all. I'm just going to chuck that because it really is just a mess. Let's try that again with paper this time. I use cardstock here. Yay, Pam! Woohoo! Pam is off work for two days. Actual weekend. Okay, let's try that again. If this doesn't work, it's because what's underneath is too crusty and too thick to pick up. And I'll just have to wipe it off. some strips from my cards that I was going to use. Here they are. Let's just use this. Hey, Kathy, nice to see you. Well, maybe I'm just not putting enough on. Could be that I'm just not putting enough on. So how's the weather out west, Kathy? I probably shouldn't ask, although it is nice here, so that's fine. Nice enough for me. Yes, I could. I could do this. I could use my brayer. I like to use my hands though, because then you can really feel how you're pressing and... Yeah, no, it's not working. I'll save those for... Oh, now, see, I got stuff off the strip there. Got stuff on the edge, but nothing else. Okay. All right. I'll just put those there. Okay, now I'll just get my uh, baby wipes out here then. Always turn it over. Yeah, see that's kind of too thick. It's that's the problem. It's kind of really big paint guts. I'm gonna flip it over, see what I got on the other side. Ooh, I got a whole bunch of brown on this side. Alright, well let's see if this one will pick up. <laughs> If not, then, well, I'll have to totally clean it. I'll use a smidge more paint. Of course, then you'll have too much paint, and then it won't work at all. Let's see what happens in 
think this is the side I was using last time. Can't remember. Oops. Okay, let's put these ones back on. Or my yeah yeah it will come off with baby wipes I'm just not gonna bother taking the time to clean the other side right now this this side looks a little thinner what's left on it so I think it'll come off it's what I get for not cleaning my plate ever <laughs> let's just clean this corner here Yeah, me either, Carrie. Doesn't seem to need the mineral oil yet. This is the first time I've ever had trouble doing a pull-up print and cleaning the plate enough. I don't mind having some stuff on the plate. Boy, it must be that paint. But I, this is the paint that I always use. Yes, san hand sanitizer would work, but it's in my bedroom. <laughs> uh, so... The only time I usually use my hand sanitizer is before I go to wrap my legs, so. <laughs> Yay, Marilyn! Woohoo! <laughs> Yeah, well, this is just being plain old ornery today, isn't it? Picked up. Oh, Kinooki! There we go. Jeez, Louise Jean. It is just not liking that paint at all today. Well, if it's not coming up with that paint, I don't think it's going to come up with... I should try it with uh, some good paint, though. Fail! Oh, yes, Carrie. I'll make you and Eileen mods there, and you can take care of it. Or your I carry, what are you, love, L-O-V-E, so that one. And Eileen, just in case we need a second person. There we go. All right, Carrie, go for it, kiddo. Hey, Colleen. Okay. Little more than crusty bits, for sure. All right, well, we'll see. Won't we? We'll see. If it comes up with my first pull, that's just fine. All right, so let's use 
good paint here. <clears throat> okay. Let's do some blendy blendy. I want to see if my paints here will do the nice blendy blendy that uh, Patty was doing on her stream. All right, so this is, I'm going to show you the difference between the green blue and the blue green. So this is green blue. So the other one I want is blue green. Hold on, I'm going to finish using up this one first. Actually, no, I think I'm going to put silver with these two. Silver! You are going away because you're not behaving properly today. White paint. going to do green blue ready to take the bottom off, cut the bottom out, I think, to get to the end of it. And silver. And do I have my 12 by 12 paper ready? I do. Okay. So, green, blue. This is going to be my first layer. No, 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 Dee Dee. I, I have another whole huge bottle. Don't you worry. I'm ready. So here you can see the blue. Here you can see more of the blue. The green part of the... Oh, not on camera. You can't. It's not like me. Ah, oh, Gosh darn it. Too much stuff. And then I'm going to do the green. What on earth? Yeesh. Oh, there we go. I don't know what's on my brayer, but I'm getting some natural texture there. Something weird's on my brayer. What? Oh, fur! Surprise, surprise! Cat fur. Okay, anyway. Silver. Oh, I think I may have to go to my other brayer. Where did I put it? I don't mean my small one, I mean my large one. I've got another brayer, a speedball brayer. Where did I stick it? I put it out of the way somewhere. I guess really well out of the way because now I can't even find it. I don't want to have to roll with that stupid spray all day. Oops, there goes my tin up. I know I threw it behind my... Just one moment. Where did I put that darn brayer? It's going to dry, Jean. Let's just do it with the little one for now. Okay. All right, 
So now I'm going to go blue, green into that. Let's move the green into this. Oh, darn, I didn't get rid of enough of the silver. All right, let's just get this down here. Oh, not far enough over for my 12. I have to show you guys the. Well, I'll do that when I get to my stencil layer, I guess. The stencils that I. Okay, hold on. I had both of my rayers right here beside me. find my speedball one. I should have just used it anyway because I like it better than the stupid recollections one. Hmm. All right. I have to figure out what's on this stupid. might be on this. It's probably on the paper. So I'll turn the paper over and see if that fixes whatever's wrong with the brayer. Hey, Vicki! Am I having a hissy fit? Well, kind of, because I was looking for my brayer and I couldn't find it. So sort of, but not really. There, got myself some nice texture in there. Answering my phone. Sorry. You guys can leave a message if it's that important. Okay, I need something to grab my wire. Alright, hold on. Not leaving a message, so I guess it's not very important. Hi Jillian. I'm just going to dry this page up. Okay. Let's see. So now I want to add a nice contrasting layer. And no, I'm not near enough my jelly plate to cause an issue with the heat gun, so. Hey, Sandra. Colleen. I can't remember who I already said hi to and who I didn't, so I apologize if I missed you coming in. prefer to kind of work on one because of the space issue. I tend to work on one and get the layers done and then go on to the next one just because. All right, so now I want to do a layer with a stencil. And 
and I think I'll do, let's see, what color, what would look good on top of this? I think I need, I need a nice bold color. Hmm. Let's see. Red. Hmm. Would have to be the right kind of color red. Oh, no, I'm going to do purple. Purple, purple. And this is plum. It's called plum. It's like a red purple, I guess. You could say. Cheeky girl. Ha <laughs> Carrie. Yeah, the the PBO's the PBO PBO Studio has a whole line of acrylics. So they have basically every color studio grade acrylic possible. They're like student grade, but I would say very good student grade. Um, they have the whole line of acrylics. Then they have this line called Dyna, and they are iridescent paints. So they have two, the shimmery two colors, green, yellow, and then this one's blue, green. And then, but they also have some metallics, and this is called, the silver I use is called iridescent silver. All right, so I'm doing plum. Let's see if turning the paper was the problem there. Let's just clean this brayer off a little bit. There's paint, paint built up on the roller. That might have been the issue, too, with the texture I was getting. got too much too too much carp built up on this brayer and that's what's causing the unwanted texture I'm trying to scrape it off with oh, <laughs> scraping it off with my palette knife and it's going into my mouth I guess I'll close my mouth One landed on my face. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to make sure I wash my face if I go out anywhere after my stream. Not that I plan to go anywhere after my stream, but you know. Oh darn it! <sighs> Should have changed my shirt. Brand new shirt. Now I'm gonna have to add it to my art shirt collection. Dang it all! I'm gonna throw only like eight bucks a piece. <sighs> Oh yeah, nothing serious. Just a second, I have to finish with the brayer here. <clears throat> yeah, this is kind of a like what not to do stream, at least at this point, so far today. All right, almost like new. Hey, Cheryl, too. <laughs> How'd your beef turn out, Cheryl? <laughs>
my first new tank top off the season and it's now a painting top unless I can get some rubbing alcohol on the paint before it dries in and get it washed now this is kind of a translucent color it's just cheapo art cheapo paint but which is kind of nice anyway Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I figured it was just for for making boolean puzzle. Hey, LA. Linda Army is LA to me. Get that paint picked up over here. All right. Now, I'm I'm Trying to make sure my fingers get in between all the little circles in that stencil so that the 3D effect shows up. There we go. And now I'll take there. So let me show you that a little better. All right, now I'm going to do a pick up, do a ghost print here with I want to get all the rest that's left in the holes picked up before I do the next pull. Ooh, look, that picked up some green underneath too. Looks a little icky, but oh well. It's green and purple. sort of. Yes, I am recording, Xandra. Yes, ma'am. But thanks for asking, because every now and then I do forget. <sighs> okay. Whew. All right. Putting that inside the binder there. left over there. There's that print. Pet <laughs> Debbie. Okay. All righty. Now, my next layer of this is going to happen once it's cut down a little bit. No, <laughs> I see you, Debbie. Okay. 
let's start a new one this time I'm just going to do um, eight and a half by eleven let's do a cleanup though but this time I can I try to clean up this time with maybe I'll Artist Loft. Let's see what do I got here. That's the black of that same one. I don't want to use that. Gray. Let's see here. Where is my lovely black metallic black that I liked last time? Raw umber. Oh, that would be nice for a pickup too. Where the heck did it go I wonder my yummy black that I like it should be in that it should be in this drawer what did I do with it I wonder hmm remember last time and I found that yummy metallic black what the heck did I do with it I wonder my artist artist loft titanium white I'll use that for pickup it should pick up better Jeez. Oh, hold on I got like really sticky paint around the there we go this should work better for cleanup doesn't I will just name my plate dead oops and or I should say my layer is dead not the plate okay and now I've got too much this is much better paint the other was just the Dollarama white paint which has always worked before for me but who knows the issue is today I've got too much paint so I'm just going it over it and my brayers picking up the extra paint that I don't need Waiting for the hot water heater to blow up, Debbie. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Now this is for a, when you're doing a pickup. You don't want to use a whole bunch of paint. A cleanup. I want to pick up all my underneath layers, um, Debbie. So exactly, Vicky. Cute hands. What? My hands are cute. They're chubby. Look at my fat fingers. Yeah. <sighs> they're small, but they're chubby. All right, there. See? Got a little bit of pickup stuff there. I'm just going to keep using this and make little patches of pickup. So I don't waste anything. Okay, hold on. My deli papers attacking me <clears throat> okay yeah it doesn't 
doesn't like to pick up on do pick up on deli paper oh there well there we go a little bit can probably get a little bit more on this edge <laughs> Okay, we'll call 911 for you, Deb. Debbie, I should say. Okay. Alright, so it looks like this is working much better. Goodness only knows how many layers we're going to get now. So, let's see if it's ready. There we go. Now that's Still not quite dry up here. <laughs> it's really good on the corner. Okay, Kathy, enjoy. Hey, Cheryl one. Angel bug is Cheryl number one. Bridgeton is Cheryl two. I guess maybe I'll just call them C1 and C2. How's that? That's easier. There, now you guys have your nicknames from me. C1 and C2. C1 is Cheryl. Angel Bug Cheryl. C2 is Bridgeton. There you go. Alrighty, here we go. Not too bad on the bottom. I'm not sure why spots didn't pick up. Maybe I took too much paint off. But look at that yummy goodness. <laughs> oh. And that yummy goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that yumminess. Yumminess. Yummy. Am I thinking, bringing anything extra to work on? Probably not, Sandra. Since I'm flying, I kind of have to just work with my... I'm going to bring my round jelly plates and my 8x10s that I cut up and some paint. So, thanks, Eileen. Thanks, Debbie. See, got to love those cleanup prints. And look, you can see the... You can see the circles there from that stencil that I used. And you get all that yummy, painty texture. A little bit of the shimmering. I had a little bit too much paint in that area, and that's why that part didn't come up enough. But that's okay. And then you can see the stencil there in that one, too. See? Love my pull-up prints. Okay. All right. Now, next one I'm going to do, let's see. I'm going to do red, blue, and blue violet. And I think what I'm going to do is, or violet, blue, excuse me, not Blue, violet, violet, blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a stripe here, a stripe here, and then in between I'm going to do the blue, violet, or red, blue, excuse me. Okay, so... Violet blue, there you can see the violet and the blue very clearly there.
got a second one there. I just didn't see it. Aren't they so cool, Pam? Ugh. Yeah, no, neither of my, I have three brayers and none of them squeak. Thank goodness, because if they, if they squeaked, I'd be throwing them out the window because I could not, my ears could not handle a brayer that squeaks. Just let me, let me tell you that for sure. So this is just my first layer. So there's what I got there. And I'm just gonna see if I can get a little bit more red on this side here. Yeah. And a little pink here. I use cream because I don't like white sections left behind. Ha ha, Pam. See how much I can get picked up on this other half? Thing one and thing two, exactly, Debbie. You can see I'm picking up some of the layers from underneath there. Okay. So now I need a nice pop of color for that one. What will make a good, well, while I'm thinking about that, let me find the stencil I'm going to use. To use two different stencils if I'm going to use. Alright, so I'm going to use this stencil. And let's see here. I guess. All right. Throw it out, Pam. That's how I would fix it. Hey, Janice. All right, trying to think of what color I want to put with that combo right there um yellow i would love yellow with it but yellow is going to be too translucent unless i have a nice yellow in this let me see what i got up here This might work. I'll try it. It can only go bad, right? <laughs> oh, Carol, yes. These are going to get cut up for ATCs for Baltimore. Yeah. Ha, 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 Denise. 
I didn't say that, but yes, these are going to be cut up for ATCs. kind of a and it's a very translucent yellow so it's not going to do what I want so it's going to start a new one instead of going on top of that other one and I'm going to put it on white instead of cream so that it pops a little better I didn't clean my brayer enough before I rolled out that. Oh gosh darn it, Jean. Yeah, never up. <sighs> never turn your paper upside down while it's still wet. Cause acrylic paint's basically glue. Okay, hold on. Okay. right it's called deep yellow and you can't tell oh that doesn't look right on on the <laughs> it's actually a mustard color it looks on my screen it looks real yellow yellow but it's actually like a mustard color and it, you can't tell in the in the tube if it's going to be translucent or not as I figured it would have but it looked like it was dark enough that it might not be but that's okay It'll just start my next set of backgrounds, that's all. Oh, I saw that, Dee Dee. Yeah, it must have been, I'm thinking it must have been like at a hotel or something. Woo, that's kind of cool. It really looks like a brighter yellow than it is. It really is like mustard and <laughs> mustard and ketchup. <clears throat> Ooh, that's cool. Let's get all the white areas colored here. There's lots of extras to fill in the corners. Looks like E.T. Yeah, very cool color, isn't it? We got a few extra colors there on that one. Now I need to do a clean up print because it's going to be a cool clean up print. I like it. I like it. I must remember that I really like that yellow. I'm not really a yellow fan either, usually. Okay, got a piece of paper ready for my cleanup print. Oh, you're seeing giraffes in it. Uh-huh. Thanks, Dee Dee. Art whispering, yeah, exactly. You have issues with this? Like having this much paint? Not me. Because you know what? I've discovered that I get my best prints when I do these pull-ups, clean-ups, and when I get fun stuff like this on my prints because it was left on the plate before. I, like, now, if I was doing a print 
where I was planning an art piece with specific colors and really wanted to look it to look a specific way, then that would be different. You would want to use a clean jelly plate, fresh from start, and clean in between. So, yeah. So, all right. So let's just get this going here. Let's see what this uh, cleanup print's going to do for me. I think it's going to be a good one. So, my paint wasn't quite dry totally because you can see it mixing with the white. That's okay. have a little space on this one where I can where's that little piece I had there all right so you need to rub a little extra long allow that layer of paint the white that I put on to dry onto your page almost. Why the 12 by 14? So that I can do eight and a half by 11 and get the full page coverage. That's why. That's basically my reason. Why the 14? I'm not sure. Um, I assume, Carrie, because there are journals that are 11 by 14. So if you're doing an 11 by 14 journal, you can get the whole page coverage, I assume. Oh, what ones, what size did you get, Eileen? The round ones or the little ones? The rectangular ones or the little round ones? I, I love my little round ones. I'm going to do one with my round jelly plates, I think. A background. The small round one. So the four inch round and then the three by five or whatever it is. Hey, AJ. Nice to see you. No, Marilyn, I don't do that. Well, see, usually I want my I don't want my pages to be soft because usually I'm making ATCs and I put too much white on it, darn it. It's still pulled up, but there's still a lot under there, but that's okay. So I still did get a good pull there. I can feel this paper is wet, so I know that they... Hey, Mindy! Nice to see you! Alright, here we go. Oh, this is so cool! Oh, look at that! See? See what you get, Cheryl, too. See what you get, C2. When you leave, look, 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 look. I mean, scrapbooking companies pay people to design paper that looks like that. I wonder if, hold on, let me turn the, is that, is the light, 
Is that better without the light or with the light, you guys? Is the color better without or with? I don't know, Eileen. I've never figured. I tried it one day, and it if I when I clicked on the item, it just took me to Amazon Canada, and then it showed that it wasn't available. So it's better with the light or without? With okay. Turn it back on then. Woohoo! Okay, just a second. Let me try something. Hold on. Let me get my. Oh, that's a little better, I think. Oh, that's a little too much. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just trying to change my settings here a little bit to see if it's a uh, Turn this off. Yeah, okay, that's a little better, I think. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, please ignore the fruit flies that are flying around if you show up in camera. They're very annoying. I almost got rid of them and then I left a stupid apple core in my garbage. Okay, hold on. I need to dry these yellow ones because I want to do my next layer. Although I'm not sure I want to do another layer on these. I like them just like this. Really? Hmm. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, oh, gotcha, Eileen. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I don't know. I would have to time it so it got there when we were there, though. And I don't know what room we're in yet. So I'd have to give, like, a room number. I'm not near the plate, Carrie. I'm a foot and a half away from the plate. I'm not even pointing at it. Yeah, I think so, Carol. I, mean, I think I'm going to leave this one like this, except for the very topmost layer. So I think I'll cut, what, cut up what I have now and do my next, my final layers kind of thing. One still needs to dry up a bit. You guys, I do not have the heat gun anywhere near my jelly plate. Stop freaking out. Sheesh. I'm holding the paper a foot above my desk. And if it's not too hot on my hand underneath, then it's not going to be too hot on the dry so mm. 
All right. So let's get my jelly plate. Woo! Pardon me, camera hit. I'm just going to sit it on top of this for now because I may take it out again. So I'll just sit it on top, put it up there, and kind of those after all because I liked how that turned out without any stencils. All right, so I'm going to cut them slightly, just a smidgen, just an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch smaller than ATC because I'm going to back them with black cardstock. <sighs> Orla. Okay. You can just send to a different address. That's all. Put it in your name, but then have it delivered to a different address. So I'll have to see. But I don't know if there's anything that I want delivered there rather than just home Eileen I'm not sure shipped your clothes home oh no that's a good idea because they'd be a lot lighter than the stuff you buy oh Eileen that's so smart so smart Well, what do you know? They probably, they rarely look at names anyway, the post office. If they did, and because they only look at the rest of it. Okay, so. <clears throat> so instead of three and a half, I'm going to cut it three, actually not even three and a yeah, three and three and three quarters, I guess. All right, so three, I mean, three and one quarter. I'm just going to three and a half. So three and a quarter this way. See, it's no problem when I'm cutting cardstock. It's only when I'm cutting uh, printer paper that's a problem. Five days, Marilyn. I'm arriving Tuesday night and I leave on Sunday evening. So. Oh, cutting the wrong one, Jean. All right, so by two and quarter. So those are two and a quarter. Now, usually if you're cutting it, there's not as large a piece. It's only half this size if you're cutting actual ATC size. And so then three and a quarter. Yes, I am. <laughs> don't worry, I don't do stairs, Eileen. I will 
Oh, look at that. Doesn't want to. I just lied. I have to write to my Stampin' Up. See if they'll replace the blade for me. Oh, for crap's sakes, Jean. I cut that wrong. <laughs> I wasn't looking. I turned, must have turned it or something. Anyway, whatever. Two and a quarter. I cut it at two and a quarter instead of three and a quarter. That's what I did. Jeez. Three and a quarter. Yeah, but matting them on black cardstock. Yeah, so the black will be three and a half by two and a half. These are just are a little smaller, so. So I do three and a quarter. Two and a quarter. And two and a quarter. Usually there's nothing left on this long end. But because I'm using a quarter instead of a half, there's that left. Oh, Dee Dee, experience. She is a pro. <laughs> a pro. And I shall not clarify that either. Just because it's I need. Um, Joe's not feeling well, so she's not streaming after me. Jerry Ann's on at t uh, 9 Eastern, I believe. Cheryl. me <laughs> and the other one I want to trim this down so let's see how many pieces I can get from this one. get two and a quarter out of this. And three and a quarter. Hmm. 
Jerry Ann is Jerry Ann's scrapbooking room, I think. Well, Ashley's. There, Eileen will find it for you. What you need to find. I think I like this end better. Okay. So let's start with those and see how far we get. Now I'm going to show you with my black paper here, the stencils that I cut. Um, While Dee Dee was streaming. So I was cutting so I needed some people stencils S silhouette stencils so these are the larger ones So I made these to be like six inches tall, the actual um, person, so that if it was doing eight and a half by 11 or a journal page, they would be the good size for a journal page. Really, Eileen? Why? Wow. Um, they are actually, um, I have used index dividers, plastic index dividers from the dollar store, from Dollarama, but these are actually, were actually file folders, clear plastic file folders that I found at my dollar store again. So they're a little thicker than the index dividers, but the index dividers do work as well. And then I have this one and this one. So I just Googled uh, people silhouettes. They're mine, Sandra. Yeah, I made them. Yeah. You don't, wouldn't get... I have notifications turned off on mine, I think, because people weren't getting notifications anyway until I was finished, so. Okay, so. But then I said, if I wanna use them on ATCs, I'm gonna need smaller versions, so. I also cut them out at about three inches. Well, of course you get the mask as well, right? So I've got all the masks. So these are all the same stencils, just in a smaller size. Then I remembered um, 
I remembered so I need those because I'm going to be using those I also remember Barb's cool hand stencils so I had enough space on one of them to cut hands in four different sizes yes you do AJ A A S N R video A S M R don't understand that one either paper rustling <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay, so there are my hand stencils. Oops. Well, and of course, I have the masks of all of those as well. Oh, okay. Only sounds, gotcha. A little more calm. <laughs> oh, we mean like those horrible ones for... I don't let my massage therapist put sound on when I'm there. It's not allowed. Okay, so I only need the little ones right now. <laughs> yeah, I know, eh? Okay, so let's get these picked up so I can start the next layers. Now I'm not adhering the back until I'm done because that's just, that'll be my last step. All right, there's got to be more. What did I do with them? Oh, there's one. I just need the small ones. Oh, no, not that one, though. Um, hmm. One, two, three, two, three, four, hmm, I'm missing a little one, oh well, probably fell out, hmm, Okay, anyway. Might be stuck between these. I'll put these in one at a time, these larger ones, to make sure it's not stuck on that. One of these. Okay, and it's not. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm singing hands up, baby hands up. Okay. Hey, Jillian. Woohoo. Okay. Okay. All righty. Oh, here they are. Oops, I 
three, four. Oh no, I thought that was the fifth one. It wasn't, it was just the four I had. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put these little ones on this piece of black paper so that I can see them and not lose them. Okie dokie. So what I'm gonna be doing is, Well, I need a sponge and I need my blue black now <clears throat> let's start with and I need a palette. Whoops. So this is blue black, the PBO. And this is fabulous for a night sky because it's like a night sky but with a shimmer. So I'm not going to do the whole thing. What I'm gonna, well, you'll see. I'm going to attempt to just do like a glow kind of thing. We'll see how it turns out. If it doesn't, then I'll have to do the whole thing. If it doesn't turn out the way I think it's going to turn out. Oh, it moved. I didn't get it. Hold on. I think I'm going to have to use my... It's kind of what I wanted. So that's good. And then I'm going to go around the edge. Way too bright. Oh, goodness gracious. Just give me a moment. There we go. That's better. Okay, let me just do a quick um, focus here. have much room for my mouth. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. <sighs> All right, cool. Need to get these out of my way so I can move a little better here. So 
Sorry guys, I think I was off camera there for a minute. Just doing the edge with my blue black paint. Whoops. A little overdue there. So there's one. All right, let's do one with I'm dipping it in the paint and then dipping it off. This one. kind of going to keep, I don't want any hard edges there, so I'm going to try to, before I take it off, keep pulling at the, Vicky, sorry I didn't see you come in there, Vicky BR. Okay. Now I'm going to try one where I kind of cover the whole thing and see which I like better. He's just short enough. I'm going to put this guy a little off to the side because I have a feeling I'd like it better if he's off to the side. Thank you. So, I'm going to do the whole background this time and just see which I like the look of better. If I like the halo or if I like the whole thing. it without moving him. As you can still see the yellow through this blue black. <coughs> so which do you guys like better? with the halo or completely covered.
You like the halo better? I think I do too. Yeah. I just had to try it to see. I thought that's what I was going to like too. Just the halo, but I wasn't sure. So I thought, eh, what can you do but try it? Now with this, oh, I forgot to do around the edge of these two. Now, this purple one, I may have to use solid black because this may not be dark enough, but we'll see. I'll do, I'll do one with, excuse me, the blue black first and see what happens. Excuse me. Pardon me, please. Okay. There's my hand, but where did the first, where did the other woman go? Where did she go? The one with her hands on her hips. What happened to her? Where did she go? I don't know what they did to her. She ran away. She's not stuck on the bottom of that. Oh, there she is. That's why I have the blackout so I can see them. For this one, I'm going to try. Let me try. I'm gonna draw the and of course when you have the stencil part the inside of her arms don't stay in optional AJ it's optional one I'm gonna do the opposite way use the stencil instead of the mask see what happens but I may have to do it with black because this may not be enough contrast of course I could go around it in black Hmm. All right, just a moment. Hi, Paula.
right. See you later, Zandra. Glad you could drop in. All right. Black pen. So this is a metal tip, 0 0.7, liquid gel ink by someone. Uh... I can't remember who it's by. It might be Stadler. Don't know. Can't see. So I'm just going to put the stencil back on. Oh, Lord, lifting, I tell ya. Okay. I'm going to trace around stencil with black and see if that helps. If it doesn't, then I'll use black. Okay, her legs I think I'm just going to have to do by hand because that's just going to move and mess me up anyway. sure I like that one. I like them the other way, I think. Okay. So I think I like them the other way, right? Yeah, we're going to go find Eileen's chair in the bar and take a picture of it. Yep. She has her own name on a chair apparently in the bar I am going to find it and take a picture just be prepared be prepared for a special tweet I still have to figure out what I'm going to stamp on them or, or what quote I'm going to put on them or something. Anyway. A stool. Oh, a stool right by the bar. Okay. Gotcha. Well, we'll be sure to find it. All right, so I'm going to do one more, and then I'll show you how I'm going to mat them with black. And the quote or phrase, whatever I put on them, will be printed and glued on later. Make sure I get in between each finger so it doesn't look like they have connected fingers or big, huge fingers. back on I didn't get around the thumb very well there
little bit too much paint on my there. Let's put these guys on that tray too so I don't lose them. Oh, that's not the one I want anyway because that's got a... Oh, sorry, Marie. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for coming. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to show you. Now I've got some of these <clears throat> ready to go. So now I'm going to do the... Trim the black. So if you're cutting ATCs from eight and a half by 11, I see Patty came in. Hi, Patty. Hello, hello. I know, I, I see that. All right, so you, on the eight and a half inch, there's eight and a half by 11. So along the eight and a half inch, you cut a three and a half, which leaves you five inches. So you cut one three and a half, then you cut, two, then you have two two and a halves. So then you take the two and a half and you cut them by three and a half. One, two, three, left with this tiny little piece. So this is another two and a half. So this one also gets three and a half. So you're left with those two little half inch pieces. And then this is the three and a half. So these get cut in two and a half. And that's how you get 10 ATCs from an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Whoops. I was yelling at Dee Dee the other day when she was cutting hers. Or was it Patty? So you get 10 ATCs from an eight and a half by 11. It's not so hard. For, oops, from Canada to the U.S. as it is to other countries. Because basically any diseases that are in Canada are going to be in U.S. anyway. It's when you take them across a body of water that the problems happen. I've trimmed it right as long as I get it on all three sides then it should be good on all four sides 
Hey Sherry. Hi Dana. So there we go. I'm going to keep that for something else because I don't really like that one that much or this one. <laughs> this one probably would be better if I did it in black rather than the blue. She just not, doesn't stand out enough. Oh, you have to have all their shots. You have to have rabies and... Yeah, you definitely have to have their veterinary records with them. That's for sure. But. <clears throat> yep, exactly, AJ. Thank you, Paula. These are my little stencils I was cutting while Dee Dee was streaming her second stream today. And I'm going to try and rub a little bit off the corner here because I got a little too over generous, but it's a little too dry, I think. Yeah. And this was an accidental, these, this was, a, for those of you who came in later, this was an accidental jelly plate background. That was very cool. And then this one. Patty, isn't that terrible? Huh? Hey, Darcy! Nice to see you. Yeah, leave is great stuff unless you have high blood pressure. Can't. I'm not supposed to take a leave or Advil very much. Okay, so now the other thing I need to do, I'm going to use my white memories for the first time. I'm going to test it out. I like my white Stampin' Up, but I bought this so I could compare. We'll see how it works. I guess I should make sure it's clean before I go put it on. I'm glad I did. Holy samoli. Oh, Darcy. Well, sometimes I stream on Saturdays. If Darcy and John aren't streaming and I'm not away or feel like, you know, whatever. So. Don't want to put an icky stamp into my new clean ink pad. going to stamp it first on one of these ones that because the stamp is on crooked the rubber is on the block crooked yeah well it's okay it's, it's, you know as long as you don't do it all the time patty there are some days when i really need to take it too now you know to tell you the truth I like my stamping up one. I'm going to do it on the other side here. Oh yeah, much better. I do get, did get the uh, re-inker for the memories, but Although it's brand new, I shouldn't have to use reinker yet. <laughs> D 
TT. Here. There, see, look. All right, there's the, there's the memories. And there's my Stampin' Up! White ink pad. See why I love my Stampin' Up! Whisper White? Yeah, there's why. And my gel pen to sign it. I can't put the number on until I know how many of each color. It's crooked, but oh well. See? Okay, so now I know that it's going to work okay. I can do it on the back of my card here. Oh, now it's really crooked. Oh well. It is homemade, right? Limited edition. I really, I need to take this off and put it on straight is what I really need to do. Thanks for everything. Now it's on the block straight. This is a Hero Arts stamp. Hey, did you guys see? I think I tweeted it. Um, oh, who was it that made... <sighs> made a Misty using a clear DVD case. <sighs> I'm definitely going to do that. I'm not paying 80 bucks for a Misty. I don't care how much it might help me not put things on crooked. Sorry. Oh, she already had her salad. So she, she must be making grilled cheese, but I thought she was doing grilled cheese at lunch. But she told me she made her big salad, so. Anyway. Perfectly straight. Now, see, you can do it straight as long as it's on the block straight. Woo! Okay. Now, Misty is a stamp tool that allows you to stamp and re-stamp. Um, yeah, look it up, M-I-S-T-I. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it costs 80 bucks. It's like, no, she like can makes them. They're not factory reproduced or anything yet, so. They're time consuming for her, I'm sure, and whatever, so. But it's the new and thing for stamp positioning. <laughs> I'm just stamping the back of my cards. That's all you missed. Whip up a blueberry pie. Wow. I have a stamp on my jig. I'm too lazy to use it. <laughs> it's here somewhere. It's in my box of stamps. 
So there's three of them done. Yes, I love my Stampin' Up! white ink, Whisper White ink pad. Definitely, definitely a fave. Bye, AJ. No, I don't like pie, so I didn't make pie. I do not like pie. I like my fruit raw and uncooked. Okay, so there we go. And I'm not a huge fan of pastry either. So, so there's three ready. More are ready to go. Yeah. strange this produce this doesn't show me how long I've been recording that's weird why doesn't it show me how long I've been recording it used to up in the left corner that's very strange huh. very very strange okay And after seven. So, um, let's trim up one of these, this page of, oh gosh, that was close. This page of red ones. But I think I'm going to have to use a solid black on these ones. So I'll go over the ATC again. Your eight and a half by 11, along the eight and a half inch side, you cut a three and a half inch strip, and then two and a, two, two and a half inch strips. Then the two and a half get cut at three and a half. Oh, darn it, I don't want, I want two and a quarter. And three and a quarter because I'm because I'm backing them with black that's why don't always do that but these particular ones I'm backing in black so I'm doing oh I don't want to take the red off and this one There's more. Mm. I know there's more red or pink in this one, but anyway, I'll take the more. I'll take the red side off. isn't rolling. Sorry if I missed anything. I went off. Now, cheesecake? Yeah. If there's cheesecake in Maryland, you guys are going to have to fight me. For the cheesecake, just saying. Especially chocolate cheesecake. But yeah, cheesecake, that's a different story. Love me some cheesecake. Pie, no. 
chocolate cream I can eat if I had to, but it's still not my favorite. Key lime, eh, it's okay. Because there's only one pie crust, I guess. It's one of the reasons, I guess. Okay, in Vancouver, if you're ever in Vancouver, Canada, you have to go to True Confections. They have the best cheesecake. It is so good that there are actors in Hollywood who get it flown in. And there's two... Um, out, not outlets, whatever. The day my, when my cousin and I were there, we were advised to go for dessert first at True Confections and then go to supper. And we were so glad we did the, get this huge piece of cheesecake for like seven bucks or something. All right, Dana. See you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a great supper. Freeze them, Carol, and then freeze freeze the grapes and then put them in a in a smoothie or something. Freeze them. <laughs> Eileen, she probably didn't buy enough to make wine. Okay, I'm just gonna I want to try one on these, and I'm going to use real black. Because I don't, I'm pretty, I'm all but positive that the blue black will not be black enough. Excuse me. I wonder if they'll. Oh, see, the Delta Ceram coat varnish that I got is just interior. It's not interior and exterior. Um, black. Black, black. Oh, black. Where are you? I know I don't have black in there. What the heck did I do with it? Oh, I think I put it way in back here, didn't I? I'm going to try true black on this one. <clears throat> Don't need much because maybe only gonna do this one right now. I should round the corners on this. That would make it easier to kind of get a halo effect that I want.
goodness, Patty, love that. My cousin can basically do that whole skit. <laughs> she is a Lucy fan. Oh, I know, Denise. Really? Oh, I like Olive Garden, but actually, you know, Eastside Mario's here is just as good. Of course, I will go through and finish all of these before I do the backing. I won't back them one at a time like this. I'm just doing it because in order to show you guys some finished ones. don't like that our east side mario's is great oh the food is yummy yeah well we can't get crabs up here so we got to take we've got tons of restaurants but just no cool ones like that if you want if you're going to have lobster around here you go to the you go and buy them fresh off the boat crack them yourself They have crabs at the uh, casino, but you can't get in on the nights when they have the crabs because it's like an hour and a half wait to get into the casino restaurant. East Side Mario's, Vicky. Yeah, but Carrie, when you don't have any other choice or the one place that does serve it, you're going to play, pay five times the amount. I'm not going to go and pay 75 bucks for a dinner because nothing's that good. <laughs> Sorry. Just not going to. Okay. Oh, this one. Right. I was going to try and fix this up by doing it with black so let's see if i can i need to add a little more here i just put enough on for the one
you, Janice. Exactly, Paula. Funnel cakes. Yum, yum, yum. They are very good, too. Yeah, but Carrie, it's easy enough for you to talk like that. You have a chef who lives in the house. <sighs> yeah. So there. Hey, Carrie. Eastside Mario's has funnel cakes, Darcy. And they're very good, too. That's much better with the black than with the blue. Definitely. I don't order much pizza around here, Carrie, because the only pizza I like is at uh, in Westville, at my in my hometown at Acropole. It is the best pizza I've had ever from anywhere and believe me I've ordered pizza from a lot of places. I have, I have. I'm just going to zap this for a minute. Heat gone, Paula. Actually, the Acropole in Westville lets you buy their sauce. They'll sell you their sauce. So I'll make some homemade pizzas on a pita bread using their sauce. Just yummy. Chicken, spinach, yum. I'm just not willing to pay for their real good food. <laughs> I'm not willing to fork out 75 or 100 bucks at a restaurant around here to get not out of the bag food. Oh, Darcy I look at all these people who make cauliflower mashed potatoes I'm like I'm sorry but it's not mashed potatoes if it's cauliflower it's mashed cauliflower and it can't be as filling as potatoes sorry anyway potatoes are good for you you're not supposed to eat as many as we do but they are good for you all right so I need to stamp this one I want to stamp the ones I make so I don't forget which ones I stamped and which ones I didn't Well, see, Darcy here, you're not going to go, you're not going to go to a restaurant and buy lobster here. You, that's just stupid because you can buy them off the truck for like seven bucks a pound, six bucks a pound directly from the fishermen. So you're not going to buy lobster in a restaurant. You're going to do cook it yourself or actually the fishermen have, have it. They sell it already cooked. So all you have to do is crack it open. So you're not going to go to a restaurant if you're eating lobster. So. I know, right, Paula? Ha! <laughs> yeah. The fishermen come in and they have their trucks and they have lobster in in uh, coolers on ice and you just buy them right off the truck and they they were caught on the boat that morning 
It should actually it's soon gonna be lobster season. Hmm. It is. Dad spoiled us though. Okay, this is my jelly roll one. Let's see how this one writes. It's a little th finer, finer tip. I was going to say it probably dipped my arm in that. Wait, now what was Cheeky asking? Yes, it is permanent. <clears throat> it is. It is permanent ink. Yes, ma'am, it is. It is, it is, it is. Pigment ink. It's the only way you can get, well. So. It is Stampin' Up! Whisper White Pigment Ink, so it's permanent. Stampin' Up! <clears throat> yep, it is permanent. It's Pigment Ink. Anything that's Pigment Ink is permanent ink. Okay, so... That's it for right now, you guys. So I got five cards done totally. And several ready, several more ready to go. Yeah, exactly, Paula. It does take a little longer. I shouldn't have turned it over, actually. It'll smudge. Thank you. <laughs> Don't leave you. <laughs> no, it shouldn't carry. Not if it's totally dry. <clears throat> Thank you, Patty. I I still have to put I have to find a word and it just might be friends. Or something like that. It's not going to be a whole lot because I don't want it to take up the whole space. So I'm not sure what I'm going to put on it yet. Yeah. So. So thanks everyone for coming. And thanks to those who uh, watched the recording. <laughs> the beginning of the show was a little bit. Um, yeah. It was just a little bit fun at the beginning. Let's just put it that way. I had a couple of things go wrong at the beginning. But anyway, it can only go up when it starts out bad, right? <laughs> so, anyway. I know, the accidental background where I still had red, wet red on my, when I rolled out the yellow. Cool, huh? Yep. Love that yellow. And yeah, on my screen it looks it looks yellow, yellow, but it's mustard color. It's exactly the color of mustard. It's dark yellow, artist law, deep yellow, by artist law. So, thanks everyone.